minority would commit 90% of the sexual crimes against underage girls but they do there's a good reason for this because in this ideology in its ancient writings it says they can do this it says they should you know invade rob kill they can do any women or children taken are just to quote their book booty to do with as you please that's what the prophet said to his followers, to his gangsters. If you look at this link, all the ones with a tick besides on the right hand side, and there's 265 pages, belong to one certain ideology. I won't mention the ideology's name, but all the other ones, or the few other ones without ticks besides, are kind of Polish people, English people, British people, German immigrants, what have you. But as I say, that's one in 10 of the figures if you look after this, if you look at this page, let's try and scan up here. All the ones with a tick besides tend to have names belonging to and emanating from one certain group. And this list was done by Peter McLaughlin and is mentioned in Tommy Robinson's book, who is presently being set up and jailed for daring to talk about this. Here's it is Easy Meat. That's the name of the documentary. If you look on YouTube, Easy Meat Gangs, it will also come up. And as you will see, there are lots and lots of names of their prophets. Uh, lots and lots of them. And all the ones with a tick besides belong to one certain ideology. Here we see, for instance, here we see in Manchester, Daniel Thomas, obviously an old English name, 23 was found guilty and sent to prison for attacking underage girls, but he was not belonging to this ideology, so he does not have a tick besides. If you look at known grooming cases in the UK, you can actually double check the names with convictions of Rochdale, you know, Bristol, wherever, Essex, grooming gangs, and they are always here. I've checked about 10 different cases, and if you look around, Look, for, for instance, Rochdale, there's been a lot of it going on in Rochdale. It's endemic in London, but they won't let it out because obviously it's not good for the reputation. But having said that, London now having a worse murder rate than New York probably isn't terribly good for its reputation. So I'll put a link underneath. Share it if you can, guys. Bookmark it. I don't think this video will be on very long. they not usually. But this is the truth of who does... Our grooming gang offences. Grooming. Yeah, grooming is where you, you frighten young girls, give them drugs, get your wicked way with them, and then text your mates, all your mates from this ideology, and basically sell their bodies. It's sick, isn't it? They dupe these girls into it, promising love and future relationships, because they've got a nice car and they've got money and what have you, and it ends up they're being used as teenage prostitutes. And they end up pregnant and they end up disappearing. There's been several disappeared. A lot more, I suspect, than they're letting on. But have a look for yourselves, guys. This is grooming in the UK. It's nothing to do with a guy getting his hair nice or his beard. It's to do with something a lot more sordid and a lot more disgusting.